The universe has given me a kick in the butt uh, recently where I've had to really reevaluate my life and think about what it is that I want to do. I've always had a lot of dreams and never really took action on them so I guess there's just been this series of events that have occurred recently and it's just pushed me into a do or die situation, not literally die but you know I could go back into corporate and work but I'm also in a pretty good position to just follow my dreams at this stage as well and that's what I'm doing and that's why I've bought this fan. Let's go. van is a Toyota Hiace. It's a long wheelbase which gives me a little bit of extra rigor room inside of the van. It's a manual because manuals are way more fun than automatic. I didn't even look at the automatics because I just find automatic boring. I love the experience of shifting gears while driving and it's just part of driving a car for me. There's been some stuff already done to this van which I love like the wooden roof which is awesome. So this van is actually registered as a six-seater, which initially I was not too keen on because I was like, oh, I want to deck the van out in a different way and I don't need these seats. But now that I have it, I actually really like it because I've had a few friends say that they want to come along for road trips and I'm like, sweet, I have seats. <laughs> as well just thinking of getting like a little butane stove um, to take with me everywhere So the first thing that I did with my van uh, once I got it was to take it to a mechanic and just get everything that needed to be fixed fixed um, and just make sure that you know um, everything's above board. I spent about a thousand bucks fixing it up, got four new tires put on, got the belts changed, serviced in general, and the mechanic had a good look at it. I was expecting to spend that much. Older cars, it's an older car, it's a 2002 model. They need a bit of love. It's got pretty high Ks as well, so nearly 400,000, so it, it definitely needs to be serviced more regularly, but the mechanic said that it's okay to go around Australia, and my baby's ready but I just need to deck it out with a few more things as well. So one thing that I'm thinking of doing is just having some cabinets installed here. Part of it might be just for some extra food things. Um, another part is for clothes and some books and just to warm it up a little bit, make it feel a bit more like home. Cabinets installed, get a bed. I think you were just going to Clark Rubber and getting some foam mattress uh, cut and then I just need to do research on like electricity and power um, I'm still confused in regards to that I think I might need to get some batteries because obviously I'll be doing a lot of online stuff for my business and for YouTube and aircon if it gets too too hot just like a little portable one but I'm still doing research in regards to all of that <laughs> So I guess that's it for the van tour this time around. Um, I guess it'll just be more interesting once I actually deck it out and, and do everything that I want to do to it. Just in the beginning phases and there's lots of adventures to come so make sure you stick around and make sure you subscribe because it's time to get wild.